Unit 21. So if you are a homeowner or perhaps a prospective home buyer of uh, Unit 21, uh, I think the key is that uh, you might want to finish watching this video and after you determine whether you like to uh, buy, buy this home. Hillview Peak uh, Residences uh, is located in Singapore near Bukit Pato. How did I chance upon it? Uh, it's through a Facebook ad. Okay. So I decided, hey, why not let's go down and take a look. Of course, in this video, uh, there will also be one part where I'll be assessing the ground because uh, assessing the ground is also a very important uh, aspect of Feng Shui because uh, just like Feng Shui is just like plugging our electrical appliances to uh, electrical uh, power outlet. The power outlet, the electricity, the source of the electricity is the features uh, that's around the buildings. So uh, even though whatever I'm going to go through is just the formulas, but we'll, it's always crucial to assess the landforms first. So in Feng Shui, landforms before formulas. Now I'm just going to head straight uh, to the development site plan just to share with you uh, which particular uh, unit am I looking at. Um, so right now I do, have a, I do have my iPad here and I'm zooming into block 103 and I'm looking at unit 21 specifically because uh, this particular unit even though on the development site you can see there's a wavy line outside but that, one is the, but that is the outline of the balcony. In the the interiors are in proper it's being shaped properly, right? Because most of the time if you, even if you look at other units uh, at its side, uh, you see that even we discount the wavy lines, but it's always like an L shape or some odd shape. So uh, it is a little bit uh, interesting to go and function the homes, but I'm just gonna focus on unit 21. So if you are a homeowner or perhaps a prospective home buyer of uh, Unit 21. Uh, I think the key is that uh, you might want to finish watching this video and after you determine whether you like to uh, buy, buy this home. Okay. Um, so I've been to the ground. Uh, Bukit Batok, that site has always been uh, hilly and as you can see from the Google Maps, right? Uh, as shown in the purple and the red circle, what you're going to see next is uh, actually my visit to the site ground uh, if you want to see how I uh, design the interiors then you can follow the timestamps found in the video description below today is 24th September uh, decided to break my routine and enjoy the tranquility of this place. Uh, so currently, I am near. I'm at Hillview Community Club, and the building I'm going to look at is uh, Hill Hillview Peak. Uh, so I saw this uh, ad on Facebook. So I decided to take a picture. I uh, went to Google Maps, uh, look at the surroundings, and I really like the surroundings because it's very tranquil. So I'll just, of course, that site I couldn't see anything, but more of this site, right? Because uh, it's the position of higher ground so uh, when I want to do uh, function audits right definitely we need the energies from the external environments uh, that definitely pass while walking towards the residential building uh, I'm just gonna add in snippets if you happen to be a homeowner of that particular unit that I'm really looking at right um, I'll just put the details down at the, uh, at the at the description below and you, you can determine whether you want to like uh, approach me for a pro bono feng shui consult. Here, uh, what I wanted to do in this Google Maps is just to let you know that right now I'm at this Hillview Community Club and in the introduction you have seen me pointing to uh, some lush greenery uh, in the video. Uh, that's definitely found on the left side if I move or I recenter the Google Maps. And yes, we are heading over to Kingsford Hillview Peak to take a look and let's go exactly uh, this place has been built uh, it is even easier to do the function assessment uh, because um, 
due to certain concepts. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in this segment, but I'm just gonna put it in um, to talk about the flying stars. And yes, uh, in fact, this area is kind of like um, newly built. So in fact, just now at the hill, uh, after recording video, I think I saw one. Uh, I think I saw one satellite dish turning around, and that is even more probable that that piece of highland at the back down there. Uh, we will continue to remain, right? Because we will want to destroy the infrastructure according to the government that I know. As you can see from the video, uh, there's the location of high grounds, right? Um, what we want to make sure is that uh, you can see the presence of certain features at the right uh, positions uh, so determined by the direct and indirect spirit. It's a bit technical but I'm just going to uh, cut, sh cut short that part. So now if we head back straight, how can we, uh, you as a homeowner, do some simple feng shui? Of assuming that all the, all the landforms are present already, right? then now we look at the interior. Uh, the one most very basic form of using feng shui is that after uh, I've plotted my puzzle chart, is it, looking at first, uh, noblemen sectors, Right, because uh, in anything that we want to achieve is either I do it myself or I get the help of other people. If I were to do it myself, the next important thing is that where is my intelligence sector, right? To improve my own knowledge. So uh, that is the more that is the basic form of feng shui that I will always uh, do it with my friends or and clients, right? This example is for stack one hundred three, unit twenty one using the 24 mountains right you can right now you can see there's a red uh, overlay on it uh, for myself my nobleman sectors are in the snake and the rabbit right so after identifying these sectors question would be what is the activity right because uh, everyone will be at different stages of their life so if for example myself if i'm uh, since i'm studying again then after i need to uh, get myself employed so some of the activities i will do in my nobleman sector or perhaps even when I'm studying, I might want to design my interior spaces that I position myself in my intelligence sector so I become a bit more clever right, in uh, learning and absorbing the knowledge. Then when it comes to employing, right, if, if it's an online interview, I'll probably position myself down there. Right now, if let's say I'm a, I live inside uh, Unit 21, yeah, probably make sure my bedroom is tidy before the, on, the online interview starts. So, uh, that is how we can use the feng shui in our home to support our activities because feng shui is always present to support our activities. So that is why I wanted to uh, do a quick uh, sharing of how I would do a basic feng shui of uh, Hillview Peak Residences at uh, Singapore Bukit Batok. Uh, of course, uh, there's all the other like uh, schools of thoughts or and schools of feng shui to use other formulas but the key is uh, not overwhelming you allowing you to have a basic grasp of how to feng shui our own home and every home occupant will have different uh, nobleman sectors intelligence sectors and they can position themselves uh, in those various sectors uh, are you a homeowner of uh, other developments? Uh, if you like to do an uh, assessment of your home feng shui, you can follow the instructions found in the video description below. And because uh, I'd like to tie it to an NFT where it contains uh, utilities uh, so that I can add even more value to you, follow the instructions found in the video description below and I'll see you soon.